The final race from Ferry House will be the second leg of the Moors Millions this week. It's a four mile three, and it's a great three handicap for some reason. First coalition at the top, Leon Van Rensburg, National Prince Joshua Sutherland, Cat Memorial, Leon Van Rensburg, Dakla Wall, James Shea, Frozen Hope, Darren Thompson, National King, Joshua Sutherland, Argyle Star, Paul Parsons, Mayhem on Ice, Darren Thompson, Tints in Fire, Padre Hogan, El Centro, Wonderful Vinnie Gerard, Right Destination, David Hooley, Well Done Genie, David Robertson, Katie Holmes, Matt Cooper, Shona Fabiola, David Robertson, Lottery, John Morgan, Window Rock, Peach, Vinnie Gerard, Black Jack, Lord Jim Murray, Matador and Penelope Pitstop, Martin Lidham, Brick, John Morgan, Ironical, Harold Graham, Clutterbuck, Garus, Padre Hogan and Paul Satilla, Alex Cherry, 23 this time, and away they go. Twenty-six fences to get over. And it looks like we've got another John Morgan front runner to set some pace. In fact, it looks like we might have two of them. And over the first thing, they've already lost one. Cat Memorial's gone, so one of Leon's is out. He's still got the top weight though, which is still in there and probably keeping quite a lot of these out of the handicap. That one was as well. They get to the second, and over that one they go. And they're already getting strung out. And Brit and Lottery. Oh, the one two at the moment. Both for John Morgan. National King is third. Matador is fourth. Then comes National Prince. Tints in far after that. Then Frozen Hope looking towards the back. Argyle Star is the back marker at this point as they get to number three. They all get over okay. Penelope pit stops also out the back. Brits in front. Stable mate lottery in second. As the rest of them stream over it, they come up past the stand with two complete circuits ahead of them yet. And it's John Morgan one and two, and Joshua Sutherland three and four this point obviously both Joshes are being aimed towards the national with national in their name just that when they're bred to be national horses I get to number five and they're all safely over that one as well well and genie is just about the back market but it's Britain Lottery, oh, well clear, of oh, National King and National Prince. And you've got a National Princess and a National Queen. Into this next ditch. Looks like we'll get over okay again. Blackjack Lord has moved up on the outside to go to fifth, ahead of Tints in Farrell. Take number seven. And there Lottery jumped into the lead. Lottery and Brit. Well clear. At this point. A long way to go yet. Uh, the John Morgan pair lead over that one. Oh, you may remember you were watching yesterday, we were at Wing Canton and I was talking about that big hole in the middle of the course. I was kind of joking, I sort of just thought it was a glitch in the way they built the course, but apparently, Paul Parsons tells us that it's an ammunition pit or something. So, well, that's news to me, I didn't know that. I've never been to Wing Canton, so there's probably no reason why I wouldn't know that, but anyway, they're all safely over it. Matt Cooper said he didn't know what it was, but Paul Parsons is our wind canton expert from now on. Apparently it's an ammunition pit, I think he said, or an ammunition dump or something. Let's hope it don't go off. We'll go over the next one. Actually, we're not there now, so it doesn't really matter, is it? Anyway, back to this one. It's Brit in the lead, lottery second. And National Prince is third, the Blackjack Lord is fourth. And Tints in fire up, National King. A grey matador. Just one grey in this big field. I've said it a few times already this season. Don't seem to be as many greys as usual. 
towards the back. Mayhem on ice has just dropped to the back. As they get to the 12th of the 26. And Brit and Lottery are matching strides. So if you look, if you don't look carefully, you think there was just one horse there. You see there's two. Uh, there you go, they split up now. So Lottery and Brit, one and two. Full length gap back to National Prince on the inside of Blackjack Lord. Then National King and Tintin Farrell, then Matador after that one. And a gap to the rest of them are just about headed by Frozen Hope. What destination? Uh, Garus, then Porter Tiller, Ironical Harold after that, then Dakla Wall. Well done, Genie has made a bit of ground, gone past Casey Holmes and El Centro. Wonderful as they get over the next. Towards the back, Argyle Star is currently the back marker. First coalition towards the back, so to Penelope Pitstop, Window Rock Peach is also nearer the back than the front as they get over the 15th. And there's one down there, Blackjack Lord's gone. No, Blackjack Lord's a faller for Jim Murray. Crashes out with just less than two miles to go. And Britain Lottery will come up past the stand, past the big screen, and past the Smallish looking winning post. And they've got a circuit ahead of them. And Brits in the lead. Lottery's in second. Gray sat there patiently waiting at Galway for this race to finish. And then they'll take you through the last two of the day. This one's taking a while. Four mile and three furlongs. And Brits in the lead. Lottery's in second. They come to the next. In National Prince and National King. Tints in fire on a matador. In Daclia Wall's getting a bit closer. Frozen Hope also. Right Destination is getting a bit closer as well. And the two of them starting to make their move now with a mile and a half to go. But Lottery and Brit are still the two who are clear coming into this ditch. From National King and National Prince. And Tints in Fire and Matador. In Dakla Wall and Frozen Hope. To number 18 they go. And John Morgan and Pierre Land together. One or two of them jump that a little bit slowly. And Brit and Lottery are still matching strides in the lead. The two nationals are doing the same thing really back in third. Prince and King with Tints in fire a couple of lengths behind them and a couple more lengths back to Matador as they get over the next. A couple of lengths then to Dakla Wall. Right destination is after that one. Then Katie Holmes is making a bit of a forward move. Frozen Hopes there. El Centro, wonderful. Garus. Then Window Rock Peach trying to get into it as well as they take the 20th. Which they all get over okay. Although one or two of them nodded a little bit. Mayhem on ice in particular out the back. I want to go Harold has dropped right out the back now. Uh, Lottery and Brit. Going into this ditch. Get over it nicely from National King and National Prince. Then Tints in Fire is after that one. And Dakla Wall Matador now starting to beat a bit of a retreat. Garus and El Centro wonderful trying to run on. But they've got to get to this Morgan pair. They're still clear and they're still going well enough at the moment as they get over the 22nd. It's Lottery and Brit. Which one's which? Then comes National King back in third. Tints in foreign is fourth. National Prince is after that one. Then Dakla Wall Matador has now started to run on again. El Central Wonderful is after that one. Frozen Hope and Garus next, but there's just over five furlongs to go. Uh, Lottery and Brit are still matching strides in the lead from National King and National Prince. Matador on the outsides move through in the fifth. Then Tints in fire or Dakla Wall after that one. Over the 23rd they go. Just three to take now. It's probably between that leading group as we see all the tailenders going over that one. Else Argyle Star was a faller, but it's Lottery and Brit who come down to the third last. Lottery is now in the lead. Brit trying to fight back on the inside. Over the third last they go. Then National King and then Matador. Then National Prince. Well, guess what's going to happen to them while we see all these pointless tailenders jumping over it. But it'll be pit stop been pulled up. Brit's in the lead. Brit's in front. Lottery's in second. National King's in third. Matador's run petered out while we were looking at the back. It's Brit and Lottery. Brit's in the lead. Brit's gone four lengths clear now. Lottery is now being pressed by National King. Matador's a long way back in fourth. These front three are well clear, but 
Then looks like Brick coming down to the second last. Gets over it nicely in the lead. National King's over it in second. Lottery is over it in third. The rest of them are nowhere. It's Brick winning the lead pretty much all the way. National King is starting to wear into the lead though. There's still one to take. This is the final fence. Brick landed in front. National King is closing and now National King is beginning to get up. It's National King who's gone into the lead and National King is going to take the leg five and a Moore's Millions qualifiers. National King He's going to want it up towards the line. National King takes it by a couple of lengths. Brit was second. Lottery stuck on well for third. Then a big gap back to National Prince in fourth. Tintin Farrell, then Matador and Katie Holmes and Dakla Wall. And quite a few of those probably didn't stay the trip. And it was a stiff test as well. That's proper, proper four mile, three furlong horses. Those front two at least because they went pretty quickly so national king for joshua sutherland is the winner john morgan second and third with brit and lottery national prince fourth with joshua sutherland and tinsin fire was fifth for padre gogan i'll pass you over to gray who's going to do the last two races of the day from gore i think 